Today, I want to scrapbook, but I'm suffering from creative block. Creative block. Creative block. Creative block. So I'm going to focus on how to cure creative block. Any scrapbooker or creative person knows occasionally this can happen. You lose your mojo for a bit. Let's talk about how to get through this together. And please leave your comments down below on how you cure your creative block. This is Emily's Paper Caper, where you'll find inspiration to scrap your stash and get some pages done. Now let's cure this scrapper's block and find my mojo. I'm working with four fun family photos, maybe five, and I wanna do a two page spread, but I just don't have any ideas. So what should I do? Often, I like to relax my mind and color something, either in a coloring book or just playing around with some paint. Maybe create embellishment, work with some stencils, just relax and let the colors have fun together, and it really helps. I watched some Dina Wakely videos recently, and so I was inspired to try some of her techniques. I found this was really inspiring and got my creative juices flowing just a little bit. Now that my mind's a bit more relaxed, I can go back to my photos and pick a focal point photo. Looking at the photos all laid out, it is hard to pick a focal point, but I realized that the 5x7 photo I printed is the best picture of the entire mural. Now that I have my focal point photo, I need to do some brainstorming. What emotion or feeling do I want the page to have? It might help me get my creative juices coming back if I decide what vibe I want to have on this layout. As I start looking at the photos a little closer, I start bringing in some photo mats and different colors just to see what looks good. I finally noticed that the mural of the balloon has a kind of funky 60s type design to it. So I decided to go with a funky, fun background and some mats that kind of made me feel like the 60s. So that's a start. At least I have a focal point photo and I know what vibe I'm going for. But I still don't really know what I want to do. So I'm going to start at the end. That's right. I leave journaling for last. So I'm going to start with the journaling and see if that kickstarts my mojo. I try to stick to the journaling basics. Who, what, when, where, and why. Since I leave journaling last, feels good to have this done. Now that my journaling block is all ready to go, I feel like I've really made some headway. I'm just going to take some time to flip through an idea magazine and see if there's anything I like out there. Maybe that'll help. If I were at a crop, I'd probably get up and look around the room at different layouts the ladies are working on. But since I'm at home, I'll flip through a magazine instead and just see what sparks my interest. It's always fun to scrap lift and find new ideas. Well, I saw a lot of neat ideas in that magazine, but I'm still not sure what I want to do. So I'm going to find a sketch. I love this book of sketches. I will leave a link down below if you're interested in purchasing one. People also find good sketches on Pinterest, and I also like the Let's Get Sketchy blog. Now that I've found a sketch, I can get this page done. I'm feeling the creative juices coming back. How about you? How do you find your creative mojo? Leave a comment down below. Until next time, keep on scrapping everybody.